Hello students my name is Aman Kumar and I am here with a video on metamorphosis in insects and its type part 2 which is for the students of BSc zoology semester 2 and semester 6 of Marwari College Ranchi University Ranchi In this part of the lecture video we will be dealing with holometabolous metamorphosis and its genetic control Holometabolous metamorphosis is also called complete metamorphosis as the name itself suggest holo means whole and metabolous means changes there are four stages in the life cycle of an holometabolous insects that is egg larva pupa and the final adult which is the mature stage and each stage of this life cycle is marked by distinctly different appearance carol williams characterized holometabolous metamorphosis as a switch between foraging and reproduction these kind of metamorphosis occurs in higher order of insects including lepidopterans example butterflies coleopterans example beetles hymenopterans example wasps and ants dipterans example true flies etc here in this picture we can see the life cycle of an holometabolous insects as we can see firstly from an fertilized egg larva is formed which we say the first instar larva of which after successive molting we say it second instar larva and so on until there is an metamorphic molt which produces pupa and later on pupa transforms into an adult by undergoing an imaginal molt here we can see the peculiarities of different stages in the life cycle of an holometabolous insects first is the egg most insects begins their life cycle as an fertilized egg In some insects like cockroaches a batch of egg is cemented together to form an packet like structure called oothica and these fertilized egg are pierced for respiratory openings also next is the larva it is also called the feeding stage or the growth stage next is the pupa pupa is the non feeding stage and it is the differentiation stage also known as the resting stage next stage is the adult which is the reproductive stage also known as flying machine devoted to sex because they have functional wings and other appendages and are fully mature for an reproductive life now let's see the developmental changes occurring during the late larval stages in detail in the late larval stage of an insect there are two populations of cells one is the cell of juvenile that is larva and the other the imaginal cell clusters the cells of juvenile that is the larva that will form the larval structure undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis under the late larval or prepupal stages while the imaginal cell clusters starts to specify their positions and are divided into three zones of which the first is imaginal discs which form cuticular structures of adult second is the histoblasts which will form the uh, adult abdomen and the third is organ specific cells which will form the adult organs so we can say that the preparation for adult transition begins during the late larval stages and specification of their prospective organ occurs during this stage but are in halt awaiting signal of differentiation imaginal disc cells that we saw now will form cuticular structures like the wings legs antenna 
head eyes and genitalia the imaginal discs are visible as an local thickening of epidermis as the pupation begins the cells in the center of the disc telescope out to become most distal portions of leg and the outer cells becomes the proximal structures in this picture we can see the location and developmental fates of imaginal disc and imaginal tissues in the third instar larval stage now let's see the developmental and genetic control in transition from the larva to pupa stage after few successive larva to larval molt the final instar undergoes a metamorphic molt which is the sudden transformation between larval and adult stage now coming to the genetic control during this transition the proliferation and specification of imaginal cells occurs during the late larval stage and is mediated by hox gene such as ultrabithorax and antinapedia elongation of imaginal discs takes place in prepupal stages development and genetic control of pupa to adult transition now here the imaginal discs form the adult that is the imago from the pupa the differentiation of imaginal tissue occurs while the insect is in pupa stage and this differentiation requires the pulse of molting hormone that is 20 hydroxy exodone the type of structure the imaginal disc cell will form is determined by the interaction between several genes in an imaginal disc cluster now let's see the role of different genes in the third instar larva imaginal disc cells and how they affect the structural formation here the center of the imaginal disc secretes two paracrine factors wingless and decapentapelagic which acts as an morphogen and when they are present in high concentration they express distal less genes and induce the distal structure formation like the claws when the moderate concentration of this morphogen are present they express dashund gene which forms femur and proximal tibia and when morphogens are in low concentration they express homothorax and forms the most proximal structure that is the coxa here in this picture we can see the expression of different genes and the structures that they will form as we as you could see here this the most uh, external structure expresses the homothorax genes and forms the proximal structures that is this coxa and the most internal which is shown in this red region will form the most distal structure which is the claws and tarsus so this was all about holometabolous insect metamorphosis and its genetic control thank you in our next lecture video we will deal with the hormonal regulation of metamorphosis hope you all have understood and enjoyed the lecture thank you